For years, Keeling House was derelict, but it's recently been refurbished. It's still fantastically futuristic and a Grade II listed building, but the developers felt it needed a makeover. So in came fountains. This foyer straight from Star Trek and an extra floor of glass penthouses. They also built high fences. These keep out the locals, the people Keeling House was originally built for, and protect the new residents, smart young professionals. Hi, David. Pleased to meet you. Come in. Wow, it's amazing. It's really bright and light. Yeah, yeah I like that. It's just that, that sense of space and openness. It's amazing how the original windows just frame the views as well. You live and eat downstairs, and there's another floor upstairs for sleeping. There's a moment when you suddenly see the building in the sky. It's really quite beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, I think it's a, certainly a nice design touch and certainly adds yeah, yet again that feeling new... of, of light and space to the, to the place. Can I ask you um, how much you paid for this apartment? Yeah, um, with parking in the region of about 200000 And did you think that was reasonable? You happy yeah, with that? Um, my view to the purchase was to not only to have a home that I was quite comfortable and happy to live in, but also to be able to realise a bit of capital appreciation. Uh -huh. Um, it's also seen as something of a design icon, so yeah, I was buying into classic. exactly. I was yeah. buying into something which you know hopefully would I'd be able to realise a premium on in the future. I don't think I would have bought into a sort of run of the mill council developed, council built, sort right. of council block as it were, purely because it wouldn't have that premium. It's a good investment because Lasden is a classy brand. It can name its price. A few other towers have become trendy for the same reason. Erno Goldfinger's Trellick and the Barbican built by Chamberlain, Powell and Bonn. Nobody would dream of knocking these down now, though it wasn't that long ago that many wanted to. But most of Britain's tower blocks weren't built by big names. It was anonymous teams working for local authorities who changed our cityscapes forever. But look closely, and these buildings are exciting and radical. They're proud to look so functional, so mass-produced, they show off how they were built. This was the bold new style for what was supposed to be the bold new society. This South London design, just like Lasden's, stacks two-storey maisonettes on top of each other. It's much less famous, but I like its rock-like texture and angular shape. It's like sculpture. Hey, Hello. Sean, hi. David nice Adger. Yeah, very nice to meet you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real surprise, actually, coming through the corridor. It's yeah. really... Well, there's nothing blocking the view, so course, you, know, yeah. you get the sunlight coming through naturally. Cool. Quite Ooh. Long <laughs> Kitty. Ooh, Kitchen. two. Two cats. <laughs> what is it like for them? That's interesting. Uh, cats in a tower block. That's... Well, they're both um, indoor cats. They go out on the balcony. Okay. Um, they don't jump around and that. We've had cats before. Right. They seem to enjoy it. What's it like sort of living up here as compared to houses down there? Oh, much, much better. I've yeah. got more privacy. Yeah. You know, I don't That's have to hang yucky white knit <laughs> curtains on my windows <laughs> or worry about who's going to walk past my front door. And so how long have you been here now? Uh, I think it's about 18 years. Uh, and uh, what was it like originally when you first moved in? Uh, the pits, basically. Really? Yeah. It was, yeah, it was exactly, it was like a typical classic stereotype of a rundown council block. Right. A couple of bare bulbs hanging off the ceiling and the smell of urine everywhere. <laughs> um, all of that has disappeared and that started when the local authority built the concierge system and yeah. it made people want to live in the blocks. I really like the outside of these blocks, but it'd be, you know, what do you think? Tell me what you think. Um, <laughs> no, they're okay because they've painted them. It was ugly and now it's a bit better. I still wouldn't say it's the nicest <laughs> sort of piece of architecture I've ever seen. But don't you like the shape seen. of it? Because it's quite uh, unusual. No. <laughs> I wish they hadn't slapped paint all over it. It's the same sort of unnecessary dressing up that spoiled Keeling House. Much better is the original finish, which you can still see in this nearby block. There's more texture in it. These buildings look more modern when you don't try to modernise them. None of the proposals for new tower blocks that I've seen are as radical, futuristic, or even as beautiful as the ones we already have.